I wasn't going to make a video about this until I saw TJ's video about this. And it just reminds me that, yes, TJ is in this for the money. Because what he's saying is preposterous. The vice has done the same thing. Vice has also gone into this fucking forest and filmed dead bodies and been like, ooh, look at the dead body, look at the dead body. Can we have some ad revenue, Google? Can you give us some ad revenue? Thanks. Oh, it's so gratifying when you give us that beautiful ad dollars. Now, a lot of people said, well, hey, TJ, there's a distinction here, okay? Vice, they did a very classy uh, approach to milking the suicide dollar. <laughs> Theirs was a documentary. It was informative. It was, uh, you know, it, it, it was sensitive to the subject matter. It didn't rub against people's sensibilities wrong is what they're basically saying. Oh, it was, it was more refined and dignified and it, it, it didn't offend people. So the only difference between what Vice did and what uh, Logan Paul did was that Vice took it very seriously and didn't offend anyone. And Logan Paul laughed and cracked jokes and, and treated it very superficially because he's a fucking retard. And it offended people. Declaring those things as the same thing is exactly the way that people can bully someone and harass someone and claim that that's an argument against what the person is saying. It also shows that someone can have a complete lack of morals. As long as they can use logic and reason to back it up, it's all good. This is one of the reasons, this is, this is one of those things that religious people could point and say, see, uh, atheists have no morals, which is not true, by the way. That's not, that statement isn't true. But when they see, when they see stuff like this, uh, they can at least try to make the claim.